There are some useful tools in Python standard library and other packages which are quite powerful. Using built-in tools and external libraries and we will cover the following in this video. Let's see some basic functions first. You probably applied built-in LAN function for counting items in a list, set, tuple or dictionary. You can use the same to check the total length of a string. A string can also be cast into a list by using the list constructor. Concatenating two strings works just like how a normal numeric addition works in a math function. First see some string methods. Like everything else, strings are objects in Python. Naturally. It comes with built-in methods which you can discover by hitting tab key after the string. So what exactly can you do with string methods? Some basic functionalities include converting a string to uppercase or lowercase, capitalization etc. Some examples are, to convert characters in uppercase, to convert characters in lowercase, to capitalize the first letter, to mention as title, to split a word. To split a sentence. To reverse a word. To replace a character. There is also a way to put the elements of a string in reverse order. To reverse a word do like this. Replacing words or characters can also come in handy. To replace a character do like this. To replace a word do like this. By using join method you can join a list of characters or words into a longer string object. To join a list of letters do like this. To join a list of words do like this. The next important topic is counting, from counting characters to counting words and more. The built-in method for counting is count which is applied to an object and you specify what you want to count as an argument. Just remember that it is case sensitive. For counting the occurrence of a character we can use count with the string. Similarly, we can count the occurrence of a word in a sentence. Python also comes with a counter module with its collections library. It can count the frequency of each element in a string and returns a dictionary object, as given in the example. In association with this, most underscore common method returns tuples of items occurring in the highest frequencies, as given in the example. Our next topic is accessing. Accessing individual items by index or accessing index by items is quite useful. To access the index of a character, we can use find. And. To access a character by index, we can use square brackets. Next is f string. You can format string in multiple ways in Python. Prior to Python 3.6 most people would use percent formatting or format but f strings have made it quite easier easy to use and easy to read. Here's one example given for your understanding. You can try this example with some changes. Next we have is regular expression. The regular expression re is a very powerful library in Python and so much you can do with it especially for searching for patterns in a dataset. Here is a small sample of its capabilities. If you wish to search for a matching pattern of text. In the output, Span tells the index position of the match, starting at index 16, ending at 28 in this example. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.